very, very low paying. So there I was, stuck in the gutter, scrounging for crumbs, just barely getting by to live. My only one possession was a gun and a one single golden bullet given to me by my father when I was young. He told me, he said, Mary, now keep this bullet until it is absolutely, positively necessary that you use it. So I waited, and there I was, half dead in some gutter in some godforsaken town, just waiting for that opportunity to arise. When in the twilight, blinking in the twilight of some sleepy village, a loud horn began to blare. The entire village was awoken and began to look into the streets to see a, sol a solitary man standing there waiting for everyone's attention. He began to speak and he was one of the king's messengers from the royal court. He informed us that there was a wide competition throughout the country. It was a hunting competition for the king's royal feast. Whoever could bring in the most catch and prey of animals, biggest or most, would win a very handsome reward. Now me, being with one bullet and nothing else, I decided to take this challenge. Could this be the opportunity that I needed to get by in life? And it turns out it was. So that half an hour later, I found myself deep within the woods of, fa of a far off town. So deep that no one had ever dared venture there for the fears and dangers that were in there. Just with my one solitary bullet, I waited and I waited and I walked around those forests looking for even a solitary animal, just waiting and waiting. And when the sun began to set on that fateful day, it felt like the sun had began to set on my dreams and my hopes of living another day. But just when I thought all hopes had been lost, a miracle happened. My foot caught on a root and I tripped. But the miracle of this trip is that when I hit the ground, my arm hit the ground subsequently. And the gun fired. And as I watched the only bullet I had in the world, my only possession besides a now empty gun, I thought I was watching my dreams dis disappear into the sun. But then, by chance, a robin flew past. And by chance, the bullet happened to hit the robin in such a way that it not only killed it and landed it right before me in the ground, but it ricocheted off of the robin and down to a nearby stream where it happened to hit a passing rabbit, and off of the rabbit to an oak tree, back into the sky where it hit an eagle, and from the eagle to an elk, and from the elk to a moose, and from the moose to a fox, to a wolf, to a deer, to a zebra, to a hyena, to a giraffe. I don't know where all these animals were coming from. But just when all my hopes and dreams, and my dreams had become a vivid reality, and I thought I could get no higher, a loud growl had informed me that my final mark was hit. As I rounded the corner, all of my prey gathered up in a large rucksack that I had conveniently found lying by the side of the road on my way into the forest. I noticed that my final mark was a great bear that had been conveniently terrifying the village and the entire kingdom for months on end. For nostalgia's sake, I dug that single golden bullet out of that bear before hauling it off to the kingdom. I put the bullet into my pocket and I explained to the king my very my very loquacious tale of how I managed to kill other animals. I enthralled the lords and ladies of the kingdom with my tail and ate dinner with them. And afterwards, with my handsome sum of money, I traveled the world, the, the golden bullet still in my pocket. And when I died, I was buried, and that golden bullet was still in my pocket. The bullet cracked open, and out of it grew a single sprout. And from that sprout popped out the earth and grew a beautiful sapling. And from that sapling, sapling grew a beautiful tree, the likes of which the world had never seen before. The most majestic tree. And just when the world thought it could get no greater, a, co a single cocoon came off of that tree. And it grew bigger and bigger until it could grow no bigger. And from that cocoon erupted the most beautiful, majestic, wonderful person in the world. That was me.